Yo, what is going on guys? Speed here and today I'm gonna talk about the patch notes that is that are released today. Shout out to GC Database aka Aoki for the translations. There's some good stuff, some really good stuff, some bad stuff. And uh yeah, let's just get into it, man. I'm actually kind of uh, upset what they did. Uh so let's talk about it. New chapter, chapter 18 is coming. Very nice man. Finally a new chapter is coming out. It's been a while. Uh, looking forward to this chapter uh, Bon all right, let's take a look at Bon here Then I'll talk about his ultimate the ultimate is where the bad part is uh, taking place All right bonds passive skill when the hero's ultimate move gauge fails due to skill use skill move or rank up increases max HP by 8% for three turns max of five stacks and cleanses stats to decrease debuffs decreasing debuffs and cleanses wait and cleanses stats decreasing debuffs so um, like attack lowers, he cleanses attack lowers. Okay, that's fine. Uh, inflicts detonate damage equal to 21% of max HP on all enemies. Heals the minus HP of all allies by 50% at the start of an allied turn, and increases max HP by 30% for three turns. He's an HP unit, uh, just how like Carmel is a defensive type unit. So you you want to run an HP set on Bond, uh, most likely like HP crit. You can even go HP defense on Bond. I feel like that would be fine as well i'm uh, probably gonna make it i probably will make both hp defense and hp crit uh most likely gonna be running hp crit on him so all right take a look at his ultimate and inflicts uh damage equals 30 percent of max hp on all enemies and then on 6-6 six, six, you guys can see this inflicts rupture damage equal to 45 percent of max hp on all enemies uh the issue lies here that at 6-6 six, six, he gets rupture. Okay, that's only at six six. Uh, uh, the whole, a lot of people at the whole, actually the whole freaking uh, NA player base was not happy about this because one, this just adds an extra layer to the whole whale aspect of this game. I mean, we already have a gap in, in, in whale ness and like cosmetics. Um, you know, obviously SA level. But, it, it's very scummy, man. That marble, this is very scummy. I don't know why you're adding another, you know, whale portion to baiters, uh, especially units. It's not a very good look, uh, I'll be honest. And this should stop right here. Like, after this unit, they should, they should even, if they could, they would, I would like it to be reverted. But I don't think they're going to do that. For, for whatever reason... Uh, the overseas player base, uh, like J Japan and Korea, I feel like they like this stuff, man. There's no way, right? I, I feel like they like uh, a freaking gap in the player base where they can whale out more to kind of have a bigger advantage. Whether, you know, it is <laughs> ultimate levels or something like that, and it just adds a new aspect to it. However, though, over here, we're like, no, man, get that shit out of here, bro. We don't want to whale extra for units, so... I, I'll give my honest opinion though. I don't think the rupture is gonna matter too much. I really don't. I feel like a bond is three six and above. He should be able to one shot regardless. I mean, come on, man. He did 1.5 million damage yesterday with his ultimate. I, I don't think you need that much damage to kill uh, and wipe the whole field. That's talking PvP in specific here. Now I know a lot of players don't play high competitive PvP, so having bond, you know, not six six isn't really gonna affect you. So, I, I mean, also, let's be honest, man, Who who's going, you know, 3,000 gems deep to a 6-6 six, six bot? Not a lot of people, man. Not a lot of people. So, I don't, I don't know if the, I mean, the rupture damage is not that big of a deal, but it is a big, it is a big deal because in the future, uh, this could be implemented in other units. And if it is implemented in other units, and let's say, for example, they have like a different skill, like, you know, death damage or something like that. It, it could play a big effect uh, in the future, so uh, this is not very good in that marble. I, I I really hope this doesn't continue. If it does continue, then uh, we're gonna have something to talk about. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an issue. I'll tell you this right now. It's gonna be an issue. All right, the ba the banner. Uh, it's the one asking or a bond. You can select either or a nine hundred. The banner is really good, man. Uh, it's got bond, Eskinor, king. Lost Vein, Sariel, Tarmiel, Chandler, Ludo, Mark II Valenti, Derriere, um, you know, it's got Evil Lilia, I mean, it's got, 
the, the banner's stacked. The banner's really good. I, I do like this banner a lot. Obviously, it could have been better with, you know, more of the festival units being on there, or all of them. But, banner is good. Banner is good. Uh, we also have this new uh, fever event. Um, it's a new, like, kind of like a mileage system. I'm not exactly sure how it works until I see it in game. Okay, uh, single pull gives you 3 mileage, 11 pulls gives you 30 mileage, the mileage resets after hitting 900, and 900 mileage you'll be able to choose between Purgatory Bond and the one Escanor. That's not the, that's just the regular mileage, but there's also a new Fever, Fever, I don't know where it is, I saw it earlier. Fever mileage banner, okay, Purgatory Festival banner, seasonal star uh, banner, there's only one Fever mileage gauge, I believe it's this one right here. And uh, this is the free banner. You'll be able to get tickets to summon for these units. So the free banner is looking pretty spicy, man. I like the whole fever system, man. I just wish it uh, resets after you summon. But hey, man, I'll take one, two, three, four, five free multis for here. So and a bunch of rewards as well. So yeah. Also, this banner, like I said, it is phenomenal, man. This banner is really, really good. Five percent rates as well. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Please sign me up, baby. All right. Next, we have what is this? Oh, you're just showing an image of the fever. Fever mileage will stop at 490. It will not reset once it hits 490. Okay. Definitely looking forward to uh, pulling some of these units, man. 5% rates? You would hope. Hope and pray you would pull some of them. Okay, new cosmetics. Assault mode Meliodas. What? New costumes. Assault mode Meliodas. Where is this Assault mode Meliodas? I feel like that should be a uh, bond. I feel like uh, <laughs> I hope made a mistake there. Oh, messenger. Uh, yeah, dude, this cosmetics, I mean, bro, it's a cop, it has to be a cop, man, I can't, like, you cannot, I mean, listen, if you're free to play, man, I guess wait for them to come out for gems, but, yeah, Bond, Bond's gonna be nasty, bro, Bond's gonna be insane, okay, uh, what is this, oh, so you can summon on the banner with either tickets, the seasonal tickets, or gems, so, wait, are they gonna, like, make it, like, you can summon as much as you want in this banner? That's actually kind of crazy. And also, you get the free tickets as well. Ooh. Then that's a really good banner in a way. I mean, I'm missing a lot of dupe units for, from this banner, so... Oh, man, I got someone two banners, man. That's crazy. Uh, rates are atrocious, as always, but... The banner itself is really decent for seasonal units if you don't have them, if you're a collector. Um, these, they're actually selling tickets, man. That's crazy. Oh, no. Oh, this SSR ticket. It's so dumb. I don't know why they made it. Uh, so this guaranteed SSR ticket for the bond uh, stuff is just basically the banner itself. And you can pull one SSR off of it. It doesn't even guarantee you a festival, which I feel like it should have. I feel like this ticket, if you got it... It should have guaranteed you one of the four festival units, and it kind of is more enticing to spend for. But no, they like, nah. Here, here it is, man. So, I don't feel about that one. Some new packs here. Uh, this is like, what, five bucks for all these tickets? Anniversary daily pack. So, it's like, yeah, five bucks for all these tickets? I thought it might be a cop, man. I mean, SSR coins, I'll definitely take that. Uh, sales. Diamond bonuses. Okay, nobody cares about that really. Um, uh, free multi on the bond banner is also here. So if you complete all these missions, if you guys want to, you know, take a screenshot of this. Uh, so if you're playing JP and you want to know what you have to do each day, uh, pull on the banner once, clear event boss three times, uh, bingo ten times. Um, yeah, so you get the free, uh, the free ticket. So there you guys go. And then here is, oh, this is returning. Let's go. This is Big Dubs. Also, her bingo event is also returning. That's also Big Dubs, so a bunch of free rewards. That's very, very good. We have, like, a new head uh, piece cosmetics. The, the two on their head for all the sins. We have this new raid. This new raid uh, seemed very difficult from what I saw on stream. So we got to figure out a strategy on how to defeat this new raid. It looked, like I said, very, very... Uh, difficult uh, you have a new food as well for this raid which is amazing you know you can get a bunch of stuff uh, Arthur cosmetic is gonna be in the uh, hog pass uh, so you can get the new Arthur cosmetic I believe that's good uh, one of the things is uh, I'm gonna talk about Arthur here in a bit they're extending the Arthur banner until June 7th 
and that's a good thing because oh nice we get 11 free multis on the banner let's go man that's big that's huge nice that's very good man the seasonal banner we get 11 free multis wow okay okay that is awesome man that is fantastic um still no belmos raid material are given out this is unfortunate okay and i feel like that's pretty much it uh talking about arthur i feel like arthur is going to be fantastic with the new bond and here's the thing right he's gonna be extended one more week so if you haven't pulled arthur <sighs> unfortunately i have to say i recommend getting him because i feel like arthur is going to be one of the best units with the new bond so hey man yeah so we'll be summoning tonight though stay tuned to my channel live streaming showcases all the mumbo jumbo and i'll catch you guys later all right thanks so much for watching man let me know how you feel about this 6-6 scenario people are happy man people are not happy